Now this one's called cauliflower cheese sauce without the cauliflower juice. I know, or, or rather 80% vegan. She forgot the cauliflower juice. But, yeah, when I make the cheese sauce, I like to I like to mix it with when well, I do I use um non dairy milk. Cheese sauce without the cauliflower juice. I use non dairy milk. You're gonna have to improvise. But it's not. Started. It's unfortunately it's dairy cheese. I've, I'm still look, searching for a vegan cheese that will actually, you know. I mean, I do it, but it's for Aura and me, and Aura's not a vegan. Well, I'm I'm only eighty percent vegan. Sometimes I'm 90%, sometimes, occasionally I'm 75%. I'm between 75% and 90, 95%. You know, non-dairy milk, I've actually, really, that, I've, that's really easy for me. Really easy for me. You know, I can't even believe I did that through, through the, because I like to mix, you know, the milk. The flour, you know, when you make a cheese sauce, you put in the vegan butter, or if you're not vegan, butter, or if you're 80% vegan, vegan block, or occasional butter. And then um, flour from the, from the shop. I got it from the shop that doesn't use plastic at all. You just bring your own container, or they give it to you in a paper bag. So I've got a paper bag full of flour. I'm waiting for the paper bag to split. Some lavender. I've got some lavender here. Oh, beautiful! Lavender. That lavender looks lush. It, it looks gorgeous. It? I've never juiced lavender. No, I haven't either. Um, uh, it might work. It might work. Um, yeah. You no. Know. It might work. Lavender. Well, you can make a tea. You'd make a lavender tea, and then put that in. That might be quite nice, actually. Lavender tea is very nice. Then you've just got to wait for the, the, the vegan block or butter if you're using that to, to dissolve and you just keep stirring. It's very important with a, a cheese sauce that you know you keep stirring so it doesn't get lumpy. It's good to wash, yeah. <laughs> makes a much better sauce when you've got some vegetable uh, vegetable water as well as the milk. I'm using um, almond milk. I hope it's not sweetened. Oh, it's unsweetened. That's good. There's nothing worse than a, a, a piece of milk. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. And then you put... You put, oh, are, are we timing this? We're, we're doing five minutes, are we? Let us know. I, um, I suppose we ought to at least leave silences so we can edit if we need five minutes. But we could. We were going to do a specifically five-minute piece, weren't we? I don't know if that was five minutes. No, you, you gradually put the flour in really gradually. I realise I should be showing you this because I'm yeah, wait a minute. Oh, I don't know how to I don't know how to do cooking videos. I don't know how to do any videos really. I still not mastered the um the distance and the in the way. Anyway, you just have to imagine that I'm tribulations of uh, making cauliflower cheese. I mean it's just Well that it's it's more of the, the tribulations of filming it. Because I can't even film it because I don't know how to how to sort of angle the camera and all that sort of stuff. It's, you know, I don't know how to show. I mean, just... I'm gonna have to keep practicing until I've got it off. Because I love the way that you know you can show your whole body. I mean, that is amazing. I either, I either show a bit of my head or 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 a bit of my torso. Or... The thing is, if you can't see your whole body, people will just fill the void with beauty. Yeah. 
in your case. Well, they'll just have to. They'll just have to imagine. Yeah, but we just have to imagine the cauliflower. They'll have to just have have to imagine the cheese sauce that I've now added flour. I, 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 you know, you do a slab of a slab of vegan block or butter, depending on what you're using. So, I'm stirring. I'm stirring the sauce now. It's got. It's. It had. It had the. You know, it had the the vegan block, and then it had the flour. And the flour I put in slowly. I put two dessert spoons because I haven't got any tablespoons, and I can't find any of my tablespoons. But it should be tablespoons. And um, I'll stir that for a wee while, and then I'll slowly. Now it would have been a bit of cauliflower, cauliflower and water, and a bit of the vegetable water, and a bit. How many? One cauliflower. So this is just going to be, unfortunately, um, a milk, you know, there's going to be no cauliflower yeah. juice because yeah, I yeah, accidentally yeah. threw it away. So how, how, many, I... how, how much cauliflower did you use for the, this? Uh, master a whole master cauliflower will go. The whole oh, cauliflower right, is in the right. serving dish. And then when the cheese sauce is done, I'll pour the cheese sauce over the cauliflower, put it in the oven, and the baked potatoes should be ready soon. And then you put you pour the milk in ever so gradually, very gradually, because it's it's quite a miraculous thing this alchemy of cooking. How things you know once once you start adding the liquid, the flour and the marge or the butter or the block, the even block whatever you, you're using, changes consistency and it's it's amazing. And you keep stirring so it doesn't get lumpy. That's important. Pouring slowly, pouring slowly. It's quite therapeutic, really. Watching transformation. I wish I could show everybody. Yeah. Oh. I need to go on a on a film course or something. Learn how to use a camera. I'm gonna try and see. Oh, can I can't do that. Is that showing the? Is that showing? No, it's not. I'm smoother now the more slowly gradually add, add the milk I love the way it thickens it's sort of, oh I wish I could 